G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. As you all know, I've already made a couple of Kit and M&M cakes, and they've done pretty well, and people just seem to love them. So today, I'm going to make another all-original Todd's Kitchen version. So join me today as I make my version of a Kit and M&M castle cake. So we're going to start off by making our chocolate cake. Now this is a very basic cake, but it's also a very nice cake. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to pour in our milk. Now all the ingredients are listed in the description as always. Then our eggs, then our olive oil, then our bicarb soda, then our sugar, then our soft raising flour. If you only have plain flour, just add a tablespoon of baking powder to normal flour. And finally, our cocoa powder. Then using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, we're going to beat this up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, next I've got a 21 centimeter square cake pan. So to that, we're just going to give it a quick grease just with some cooking spray oil. Then we're just going to pour our cake mix right into the pan. Now we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for one hour. Okay, so now we're going to work on the icing for the cake. So above a bowl, I have a sifter. So to that, we're going to place in our icing sugar and our cocoa powder. And we're just going to sift that through just to get out all the lumps. Okay, next we're going to add in our melted butter. Now using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, we're going to beat this through until it's nice and creamy. Okay, so we have our chocolate cake and it has completely cooled down. So for the four towers, we're going to use some chocolate Oreo cookies. So we're going to place one just in the corner, just like that. And what we're going to do is just cut around it just so we can remove that piece of cake. Just so we can fit our cookie right in the corner. And we're just gonna do that for the all four corners. Okay, so we're gonna grab our icing, I'm gonna just place it on top of the cake, and we're just gonna spread it around so it completely covers the entire cake completely. Okay, so it's been completely covered in icing, and what I've done, I've just transferred onto a cake tray. So what we're going to do is we're going to start grabbing our Oreo cookies. We're going to place just a little bit of the icing, and we're just going to place that just into the corner. And then we're going to put icing on another one. This will just help them stick together so they don't fall over. So just continue on until you get all your towers at a nice presentable height. Okay, so now it's time for the Kit Kats. Now what I've done is I've cut them in half. And I've also divided them into twos, which will make it much easier to cut in between when you go to serve this cake up. So just simply gonna affix them straight onto our icing. Okay, now that we have all our Kit Kats on, all we simply have to do now is just sprinkle on our M&Ms. Okay, and this cake is done. Now I've just laid a couple of Kit Kats down, which works as like a drawbridge. So that's where you enter the castle. Now I'm the first to admit, I'm not the best at design work, especially when it comes to cakes, but this is still fun and it's still colorful and it's still very interesting. And I'm sure the kids are going to love it. So they're gonna have a slice of cake with a Kit Kat and also take a Oreo cookie off the top as well. But overall, it really was pretty easy to make. And I'm confident that the kids are going to love this at the birthday party. And I'm sure when they have a piece of this Kit Kat and M&M castle cake, they're going to think it tastes simply delish. So give it a go for your next party, because I'm sure it'll be fantastic. And if you do make it, please put a photo up on my Facebook page, because I'd love to see it. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen with another all-original Kit Kat and M&M cake. Please check out my Home Handy Hints channel, where I upload three Home Handy Hints every single week. But until then, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.